Hey guys, welcome back. I have the update of the Shop My Skincare Stash um, video for you today. If you haven't already seen my first Shop My Stash video, then I'll leave it in a link down below and that will kind of explain what I'm doing and where I started. Um, so today I'm doing an update. This is about two months on from when I filmed that. It did go up slightly late, so I did kind of state the date that I filmed it in that video and it went up quite late, um, well, later than I anticipated it to. Um, but it has been two months since I started this kind of, um, journey I guess um because if you haven't already noticed I am trying to adopt a kind of minimalist lifestyle not completely because I think for me it's unrealistic um some people may disagree it's realistic for everybody but to me I personally think I wouldn't be able to do a completely minimalist lifestyle so I am kind of adopting the more um, kind of only owning what you love, want, need, um, method, I guess. Um, I'm not sure there might be a term for that, someone might have made that up, I don't know, but I got it off Jess Avey's channel, um, cause she's recently gone, well, she's doing the same thing, she's doing the minimalist thing as well, um, and she has kids, so again, it's just not, it's not gonna suit her lifestyle to be a complete minimalist so I'm kind of adopting the same techniques that she is obviously I don't have children so I'm purely basing this on my own um, possessions so anyway um, as you probably saw in the original part of this video or first part of this video I had quite a lot of skincare and I did mention that I had a couple of things in the bathroom which I have now put in here purely for this video um, they wouldn't normally stay in here um, but I thought I'd give you kind of the rundown and how many I started with and what I'm left with um, kind of thing so I actually went back through that video and did a bit of a count including the bits that were in the shower as well and I had 32 items um, that wasn't including six of them that I knew I didn't have to get rid of they weren't kind of part of this cull and that included my brush cleanser because albeit it's at the end and I could easily use it up I know I'm probably gonna repurchase the same one again so I'm not trying to get rid of it because I know I want to use it um, the body shop oils of life and the eye makeup remover and balm cleanser which I didn't actually include in that video um, I got them back in my body shop at home haul um, quite a while ago and I didn't include them in this because again I knew I was going to use them, hence why they've come under this category. Um, an SPF, which I put in my travel bag, ready to go away in June. And the Charlotte Tilbury eye makeup remover, I have also put in there. So this is everything else, basically. Um, so the things that I kind of touched on that I wanted to get rid of, that I wasn't really sure of, I pretty much did. The Noxy Doxy face mask, because it was all in French. I didn't know what it was claim to do or anything so I just binned it because I was like there's no point um it might say that it's for dry skin I don't have dry skin so you know it's just an example but I really just didn't see the point in keeping hold of it um a couple of other things I can't quite remember but I did bin as well and literally just having seen this now the Soap and Glory Fab Pore 3-in-1 Oil Control Serum I said I would try it the next day um and I didn't and it's clearly because I don't like it I didn't want to put it on my face um so I really don't see the point of it being in here because there's not going to be one day that I'm going to be like yeah let's give that a go because I know I don't like it I've got that perception now that I just don't like the product so that is going to be going as well um, I have cleared out most of the face masks that are in here I have one that sheet mask in here that I'll probably use tonight so that is gone and then I am left with the three tube ones so I'll be left with the Charlotte Tilbury not that one not that one this one goddess skin clay mask i used this actually i used this this morning and yesterday um just to try and use it up 
don't know what's going on with this random bit of hair. It's like really blonde. Ignore that. Um, so I have been using that. I've also got the Unani one, um, which is the one that does say product not tested on animals. I don't know completely what their cruelty free status is. So I will be using this until the end because I did actually quite like using this when I started. And that's kind of more of a moisturizing face mask. Oh, sorry. Where are you off to, eh? Uh, and then the Super Dry Clearly Youthful glycolic one because again they're quite different so i feel like i can justify having both of those i have the cleanser and toner that i did mention yes i did have them in the video peaches and clean cleanser and the total drama clean toner i am slowly getting my way through this and i have been using this almost daily you wouldn't think but i have been as well as the chamomile silky cleansing oil this was in my bathroom and i do use this pretty much every day to take my makeup off so that is slowly going at the body shop seaweed pore, ex pore cleansing exfoliator that's my facial exfoliator and that leaves in the bathroom as well i'm fine with that because i've only got one i have a dribble <laughs> of the body shop it's not body shop not soap and glory either is it Vicky? <laughs> it's the super drug vitamin e dual face cleansing oil i really really like this stuff so these are for my kind of lazy days i don't want to um sit at the sink with this um so i'll use that till the end i have actually got a backup of this because i liked it so much that i bought a couple of backups um in the past so i'll try and use probably the ones that i've got open first and then but like i said this is my lazy day cleanser also have the vitamin E facial mist, refreshing toning mist, which is now called the hydrating mist, but it's exactly the same thing. Um, again, I do have a backup of this because I really like it, um, but I possibly might try a couple of other ones and then dibble in and out of that one. Uh, the vitamin E gentle eye makeup remover, this was the other thing that was in the bathroom that I said, I'm pretty sure there was something else, but I couldn't remember, and it was this. Um, I tried to use this so many times. I've tried to use it just on cotton pads, like it suggests. I tried to use it um, like a cleanser, um, like just putting it on my face dry and then washing it off. And I just really can't get on with it. I don't know why. It is just effectively, it is just like a cleanser, but I just can't get on with it. So I'm probably going to bin that as well, just to cut my losses. I still have the Fix and Rouge Eva Calm moisturizer i don't really enjoy using this to be quite honest with you um i'm probably i've got about half left i might just trying to think joe does use this kind of when he wants moisturizer and he'll use that so i'll probably kind of let him have that i have hand sanitizer in here because this was in my handbag and it's kind of got to this point whereas there's blah, 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 where there's not much left and it's really hard to get out because half the time it's in my bag like this um so i stood it up this way in my box here that's not skincare related though but it's in the same area i had the two facial oils i've decided that probably what i'm gonna do because they are much of a muchness really i'm gonna keep the vitamin e one purely to go with the rest of the vitamin e stuff that i do use from super drive and i'm gonna get rid of the naturally radiant um i've barely used this so i'm not really sure what to do with it because i don't really want to bin it um and i do already have a backup kind of well the next oil to use once this is gone um so i don't know but that will be going i had the charlotte tilby magic cream which i have tried been trying to use i don't generally put moisturizer i know this sounds ridiculous i don't put moisturizer on before i put my makeup on anymore so day moisturizers to me have kind of completely gone out of routine so i don't generally need to use these but if i'm having a no makeup day this will be put on in the morning um there's not a huge amount left so I will finish that up. And then I had the Soap and Glory Beauty Sleep Accelerator Night and Flight Moisture Miracle. They seem to have changed the consistency of this as well as the Peaches and Clean. And I don't know why because I loved it before. It was just amazing. And now it's just kind of lumpy and weird. And I haven't, it's not that I had it open or anything. It's just 
gone funny. But else I would have used this. Like, probably would have used this whole thing up by now. Since that video. But I haven't. I hadn't opened it at the time. I don't know if you can kind of see how much I have used. But yeah, I will start using that again. I'll kind of alternate that between that and the oil. Face mask, brush. Like I said, the DHC mask which I'll try and use tonight the body shop mint juleps which is the one that I had in the bathroom which I'm trying to use up but what I might do is open one of the other two that I had the grounded one or I'm saying it's fairy pants I'm not 100% um, one of these two see how they are they're all going to be pretty much the same they're just sugar lip scrubs and I'm probably going to bin this because it is past it's used by it's used by is the 7th of February this year um, and it was made on the 7th of December 2015 so it's probably fair to say it's 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 good to go to be fair it's just oil and sugar but I think I'll just get rid of it and start one of these so I need to clean this out now because it's got oil and all sorts in it. Oh, I forgot these. These are on my lap. I have, ooh, the two Soap and Glory. <laughs> you can tell what brands I like. Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> mini is the Supermodel Body and the Multi Miracle Glow. I had another one and that is in my makeup stash like I said it would be. Um, these I just want to kind of try out once and then I'll probably just take them away with me in June to use. Um... But yeah, so they're in there. But yeah, I'm going to wash this out and I'm going to show you what I'm left with. So it is all clean now. And I'm pretty happy with, I kind of just laid it all out in front of me. I've got three cleansers. So I've got one cream cleanser, one oil based cleanser. Well, technically two. So I have my lazy one and my one that needs water. I have two toners. I have my nighttime one, which is quite drying hence why I only use it in the evening and then my morning cleanse morning toner um slash cleanser because I really can never be asked oh I also have one other cleanser that I am again trying to use up it's the Amy morning dew I want to say uh, morning something it's a pink bottle um cleanser that sometimes I use in the morning generally I don't really have time um, but if I've had a no makeup day and I have a shower in the evening, I'll use that as a cleanser instead of using the Peaches and Clean. Um, but yeah, I am trying to use that up. And then I have one facial exfoliator, the Body Shop one. I have two lip scrubs, um, but I will try and use those up as best I can. I have four moisturisers, two are kind of more night timey so the oil and the body shop no soap and glory one <laughs> apologies and two kind of more day ones there i have technically four masks i have the dhc one which is just a one use one these two so the moisturizing one or hydrating one and the clarifying one and then the clay one from charlotte tilbury that is on the floor at the moment but yeah I'm kind of happy with that. I'm happy with where I've come. I kind of could condense it a little bit more. I definitely don't need four moisturisers, albeit they're two night and two day. Um, I'm happy with having two different face masks, um, like one for more hydrating and one for like actually clarifying. I'm happy with that. Toner, I could definitely cut down to one. Um, body, uh, well face scrub I don't to be honest once these are gone I don't think I would buy a lip scrub again I don't need that um so yeah what I might do again is do another update in maybe another two months let's say so what would that be what are we now May so about July time I'll try and do another update I'm gonna try and go as minimalist as I can um, with my skincare because like I said I don't really like to use a lot of stuff I like to stay basic with my cleansing and toning and moisturizing and then spice it up with face masks and oils and stuff so 
that is the plan. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit rambling all over the place, maybe a little bit long. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Why did I roll my eyes? Like, I don't mean that.